Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Process Builder. In today's video, we'll see how we can add multiple actions to processes. So we have a problem statement. Send an email to user when status of case changes to escalated and also update the description of a case to this case is escalated. So we'll go to our Salesforce org and uh, we already have a process created in our previous video so i will just open this process and uh, i'll explain to you in short so this process is created on case object and it starts when a record is created or edited and the criteria is status equals to escalated okay and action is we need to send an email to a user okay and we have used email alert as an action over here now let's say i want to add one more action i want to uh, update the description of a case to some particular text when status of case gets changed to uh, escalation okay so for that what i have to do is i have to add one more actions so now since this process is already activated what we have to do is we have to create one more process so I'll just clone this process and create a new version out of this process and I'll save it. So now we can edit this uh, process and we can make changes to it. So what we'll do, uh, I'll just add an action over here and we'll select update record as an action type and we'll specify update the case description. Okay and uh, for record type we'll select select the case record that started your process because we want to update the same case which started the process so we'll select this and we'll just uh, mention no criteria just update the record and for that i'll specify description field of case and uh, type will be string and we'll specify this case is escalated as string value okay and we'll just save this action now we have two actions over here and if you click on this show more you will be able to see one more action so sending an email and updating the case description when the status of case changes to escalated when the case is updated right so we'll just activate this process and activating this process means the other process which we created earlier it will be deactivated okay now we'll get to go to the case tab and select one case record let's say this case record and no so this case we cannot select because it's already escalated so i'll just select this one yeah so status is new uh, just observe the description of this case so description is blank and status is new so we'll just update the status of this case to escalated and we'll click on save we'll see whether our process is working correctly or not you can see the description got updated to this case is escalated and the other action is sending an email we'll just verify okay we'll just go to our org And you can see we have got an email okay so this is how we can add multiple actions to single criteria in processes so if you have any questions you can write it down in the comment section do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you